हेलो एवरी वन हेयर आई एम विद द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑन टाइम एंड वर्क इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट आई टोल्ड यू टू सिंपल टेक्निक्स थ्रू विच यू कैन सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू टाइम एंड वर्क नाउ लेट एस सॉल्व टू मोर टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ टाइम एंड वर्क विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम कॉम्पिटेटिव पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड नाउ दीज क्वेश्चन विल इन्वॉल्व टू सिचुएशंस दैट ऑफ joining that means when one person starts the work but in between some other person also joins in now this is one situation and the second situation is that of leaving that is when two persons start the work but in between one of them leaves the job so i'm going to take these two situations today and tell you method to how to solve these two types of problems in a matter of 10 to 15 seconds only so i am taking the first question that of joining now let us assume a situation in which there is a person a who can do the work in 18 days that is if he does the work alone he can do it in 18 days so he starts the work and as he starts the work what happens after say about 9 days after 9 days another person his friend b he joins and he starts to accompany a in completing the work now obviously a alone was taking 18 days to complete the work now after 9 days when another person joins in they will take less number of days to complete the work now so the question is now when they work together so a and b when they are now working together after 9 days they are taking just 5 days more to complete the work and now the question is b alone if he does the work alone how many days will he take to complete the work now seems complex but with little bit of understanding of the question you can solve this very easily so this is first question now let us solve this now you see there is one person a who was there throughout the completion of the task but b was there only for 5 days so a has worked see i am writing all the steps here but in competitive exams you don't need to write all the steps if you know the steps you can just jot down in a rough work and do all these steps verbally also so a has worked see 9 days he worked alone and 5 days they worked together so he has worked for 14 days so if a alone does the work in 18 days but he has worked for 14 days so we need to find the fraction of work done by a alone see he has worked for 14 days but alone he was taking 18 days so he has done 7 by 9 of the work so this is the first step which you have to calculate in competitive exams the fraction of work which is done by a so just calculate the total number of days a has worked so he has worked for 9 days alone and 5 days together with b so 9 plus 5 14 days he has worked but if he would have worked alone he would have taken 18 days so 14 upon 18 7 by 9 work he has done alone now what is the remaining work see the total amount of work is always one remember that concept the total amount of work either done by two persons or three persons or four persons it is always equal to one so b has done now we are calculating the remaining work a has done 7 by 9 work so b has done 1 minus 7 by 9 that is 2 by 9 of the work and this 2 by 9 of the work he has done in 5 days why because b has worked only for 5 days this is the second step which we we have to calculate for arriving at the result final result so now we have obtained an equation that b has worked for 5 days and he has done 2 by 9 of the total work so now now the concept is very simple 
uh, the third step will give us the required result. Now see, 5 days is equal to 2 by 9 work. So 1 day equal to 2 by 9 into 5, 2 by 45 work. So number of days, just reciprocal this 45 by 2, 22 and a half days. So this is the result of the first question 22 and a half days will be taken by B to complete the task alone. See, three basic steps and we comment the result. First, we have to calculate the fraction of work done by A, then subtract it from 1 to get the fraction of work done by B. That work has been done in 5 days, so apply unitary method and find the total number of days to be taken by B alone. This is the first type of question, very often, very frequently asked in competitive exams. Now, let us have the second situation wherein we have two persons who started to work together and in between one of them leaves the job. Now, I will take a question to illustrate this concept. Now, let us have a situation where there is a person A who alone can do a work in 15 days and there is a person B who alone can do a person in, uh, uh, work in 10 days. So, these are the two number of days given when they work alone. Now, the situation is that they started to work together but due to some circumstances after two days B leaves. Now B has left two days after the starting of the job when they started to work together. Now the question is how many days a takes to complete. Now the remaining work has to be completed by A alone and we are asked to find the number of days now taken by A to complete the task. Now for this there is a very very simple concept to be used. Now see we know that A and B they have together worked. They started working together and for two days they were together. After two days B left. So worked together. Two days. So we just need to know what fraction of work was complete when B had to leave after two days. So to find the fraction of work, this is fraction of work. See I am writing all the steps here that is for you to understand and uh, practice these steps. But in competitive exams, you don't need to write all these details. You, If you know the three basic steps, what you have to do, then you can solve them very easily in 10 to 15 seconds time. So, now we are calculating the fraction of work which was complete before B left the job. Now, for this fraction of work, what you do is, they work for two days, so two. And just, we have one more concept which I told you in my part one of this video. Just have the sum and the product in the numerator and the denominator. So sum means these two days, number of days which is given. So 15 plus 10 is 25 and product is 15 into 10 is 150. So if you see, we can strike off 25 by 6. So 2 by 6 is 1 by 3. So we have one result that one third of the work was complete before B left in between. Now, obviously if one third work was complete, now we can calculate fraction of work remaining. As I told you that the total work is always one, so one third work is done. So what is remaining? Two third of the work. Now two third of the work is remaining and this two third of the work is done by a alone because B has left the job. So A alone has done two third of the work. Now the unitary method, you can apply unitary method very easily. So you are given that A does the work in 15 days. So 1 by 15 of the work is done in one day. 1 by 15 of the work is done in one day. So two third of the work is done in say 15 into now just multiply. Take this reciprocal 15 and multiply by the fraction of work required to be done. So 30 by 3, 10 days. This gives us the final answer.
10 days. So A takes 10 more days to complete the remaining work. So these are the two very very important, very uh, uh, type of questions which are unavoidable in numerical ability tests, in NTSC exams, in, in railway recruitment exams, in all types of competitive exams in which numerical ability portion is there. You cannot avoid joining and leaving types of problems. So students please practice these three steps here and two basic steps here. This is very very fundamental rule of uh, leaving type of question of time and work. So hope you have enjoyed this video and if you practice give it one hour time practice 20 30 questions of this type i am sure you will be able to solve any type of question which appears in the examination concerning time and work so keep learning keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it